This spell is for Froig Coliani. Someone I have reason to believe can tell the difference between his pinder and a whole ground nut, even without both hands. The word is goober. Spell it with me, if you dare. G-O-O-B-E-R. Goober. Goober grew out of Nguba, a word from the Kikongo, a Bantu language from the Congo. One of countless priceless heirlooms brought over from Africa when slavers kidnapped ships full of souls and made them toil in fields for cotton, tobacco, and goober peas. Indigenous to the South American continent, but happy to grow anywhere wet and warm, like the American South, the goober pea soon became a staple of poor folk. Animal feed later fed to slaves both wage and chattel, and then to starving soldiers to boot. Maybe that's why a sack of goober peas became a part of the country yokel playset. It was only a matter of time before goober eaters became goobers themselves. You are what you eat. Of course, then factory men figured out how to grind goobers into butter by the barrelful. And that glorious goober spread was for a time a luxury only affordable to the rich. Served at your finest tucks and tails affairs, where you better believe they called it peanut butter and not smashed goobers. Which is why, come lunchtime, you're likely to find me enjoying a goober and jammy sandwich in solidarity with all the goobers through the ages who toiled for the profit of another. Give me your words. I spell them all.